Let's get stacking, y'all. Yeah. Hearts and fours and threes. Ooh, baby! That's what we talking about! 30% of the time it works every time. Let's get it rocking and rolling. Good afternoon, everybody. Here we are, Sunday, December 15th, 2019. Pretty big day. Um, we are day two of the million dollar Sunday. What we're working with is uh, 5,715 person starting field, 433 remaining. Uh, now, yeah, 15, 15 and a half. We got a min raise here. Definitely a, definitely a very playable hand, 910 suited. We're just hoping that no one else has woken up with anything behind. Um, if we get jammed on, would depend on the amount fortunately we didn't and we don't have to worry about that and we are at our high point of the day 90,000 chips 18 blinds these tens are certainly going in the middle Take us over 100K ACR. Oh, let Hanky have two nines. Let him have two nines here. That would be ideal, right? Because I'm going to be an 80% favorite. Two sevens, basically the same as two nines. And boom, baby. Let's get stacking. 166,000. A little bit more than when we started. All right. um, I think Ace Jack suited. We're going to play. This one dominates a couple more hands than the Ace Eight suited does. Uh, not just the Ace Nines and Ace Tens, but also the Jack Queens. Jack King, Jack 10 suited. Uh, we have a lot of hands in rougher shape with Ace Jack suited than Ace 8 suited on that flop. Yeah, pretty good hand. You know, we've got top pair. Um, we're only behind Ace Queen and Ace King. And um, yeah, I think we can check it back. We also have the nut flush draw, so any diamond makes us the absolute nuts. We're losing to ace king, kings, ace queen. Don't think he has fours. Don't think he has ace four suited. At this point, we want to build the pot a little bit. Don't think we're getting called uh, very often once he checks twice, but we'll bet a third of the pot and give him a really good price to continue. Let's be giving ourselves a really good price on a bluff if we didn't have the goods, but y'all know we got the goods. Fives, pretty bricky. Um, don't really see him playing pocket fives or pocket threes off this stack or ace three, ace five suited. So probably good here. Uh, looking to get called by a king. King queen. So we'll go a little less than a third of the pot. Calls and mucks. Nice pop for us. Up to 200,000. I think that means we got a pay jump. Um, King, queen. And that's the hand we were targeting. That's the hand we were looking to get paid by. That's why we went with the bet sizings that we did. 
uh, where to get paid by King Queen, and um, we got it. All right, so we're back. 237 players remaining. We have $690 locked up, 20 spots away from a $115 pay jump. Uh, 37, 50, 7,500 blinds. We have 17 big blinds. And um, we have pocket queens in the hijack facing an all-in from NYC Banker for 10 big blinds. Uh, we're definitely ahead of his range here. And uh, we like our hands. So we are going to re-raise all-in. Right, chat? That's what we do with queens in this spot, right? We re-raise all in and we, you know, pray to the poker gods and hope for the best. Maybe rock a little fire shades. Even in these spots where they only got two outs, it's still always good to take the extra insurance from the fire shades. Right? Everything's a sweat. And um, on that run out, queens are a sure bet. So... Uh, we have, wow, 228,343 chips. That's 31 big blinds, y'all. 31 big blinds, which is quite nice. Went for raising. We got another pay jump. We're going with 2.2x sizing today. Why? That's just what we're doing. Uh, great stacks to raise into, too. These are stacks that we would raise a wider range <clears throat> to steal from with because they're both pretty short uh, and therefore they can't um, well they, they won't peel as much as the bigger stacks so we're going to get three bet more often than we would uh, if we opened into you know reg stacks flat from beleza so suit connectors broadways pairs things like that things that mostly connect with this board um, we'll keep the lead in the hand with a quarter pot C bet. We do have the ace of clubs. Um, can have the best hand here a fair bit. Is it being paired? Thing is, Broadway cards, Broadway hands all have at least draws on this board. Gutters are better, um, so it's really not the best board for us. Now we also think about Beleza's range for flatting, and she's not going to have junk in there, so. She's got two pairs on this board a lot, gutters a lot, uh, some worse ace highs, ace queens, ace jacks, and um, boats, trips. So we're beating ace queen. We're beating ace jack of hearts. It's going to call on this board. That's about it. Um, we're really just hoping it goes check, check, and we win the showdown against ace queen. It could also go check, check, and we could just lose the showdown against like sixes or eights. Cool. Um, almost certainly ace queen or ace jack of hearts, right? Um, yeah. Fold it to here, we will come in for a raise. Very playable hand. Flops reasonably well. Uh, it's close for a push. Um, but for a min raise, totally fine. Uh, very playable. If facing a jam, what do you think we're going to do, chat? What do you think we would do if Nick moved all in? You are correct. But we don't have to worry about that because he just called and we have a very good flop for our hand. Top pair, decent kicker. Uh, we are not folding this. Um, a lot of draws he could have. We go for about a little over half pot. Um, best hand for us to get in against would be nine, eight. Or a 10. Uh, it's a big sweat against King Queen, although King Queen may have just ripped it in pre flop. Ace Queen and Ace King are going in pre flop. Ace Jack's going in pre flop. Uh, so the only Jacks that have us are Jack Queen, maybe. Uh, Jack King. But 
We're definitely not folding top pair in this spot. So we're hoping to be up against a 10, 9, 8, or a uh, worse jack. Um, 6, 10 would be unlucky, but also very unlikely. Our hand's just way too strong. Top pair, great kicker. Backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. LFG's in the chat. Let's um, get a little help. We got a little help. Thanks for the LFGs, y'all. We needed it. That was the one hand. We, we... Do the fire shades work just from just from being on? Maybe. I always thought we needed to wear the fire shades. But perhaps just to have the fire shades touching us is enough. Looks like a pretty good spot to throw the open in. We're going to go for it. Great for a few reasons. First, our hand is perfectly playable. Queen 10 suited. Uh, it can flop quite well. Next reason that it's great, we're raising into a couple of short stacks. Um, so they aren't really going to want to peel too wide. Other thing is everyone has like 10 or 20 big blinds. So they don't have a lot of room to go for light three bets and three bet bluffs. So we're pretty much only going to get played with if people have legitimate hands. And otherwise, we're just going to get the raise through. And uh, speaking of legitimate hands, uh, queen 10 of diamonds on a king 7 three board. Pretty good. I'll make it 100,000. I'll bet 100,000. Dealer, I like to bet 100,000. Just, just so you know, he ain't got no fold equity. That's a nice pickup for us. Up to 550,000. Sorry, 550,000. I'd like to have more than 550,000, Daler. Uh, we'll go that much. You guys are like, how much? That much. 64,300. A little bit scary to see a flat there. Uh, he definitely could trap on this stack. They could also have like a suited Broadway that wants to see a flop. Pocket pair that is lesser than ours, but not much lesser, like nines. I don't know if eights is calling here. Decent flop, though. Was, was, was that I was just saying about good karma and things? Yeah. Um, this is good enough karma, we could just check this. Nothing to be afraid of. Um, definitely find a let them see a card on the turn and we just got some more money so that's nice this is a board i think we'd be check giving up on a lot too um with a three-way pot like our, our over cards like our ace kings ace queens ace jacks probably just check folding this spot so it's good for us to throw in a check here with our our nutty hands too That is quite juicy. Do we just put it in now? Wait for turn. Now I'm going to raise now. Because if we got Taco Cash coolered, if he slow played aces or has nines, it's just going in. Born Below could be on a draw. And with the pot being as big as it is, I don't really want to let him see the turn for this price here. I just want to charge him. Um, and things, if we just call and we check after Born Below EV, Taco Cash can check. Now two cards come off for free. And yeah, we do have Top Sizzler, but we do have some vulnerability still. Um, it's a massive pot to just take down there on the flop. Because I think we, if we, we could check call and then... What's our, if he checks, then we lead turn. I guess leading turn's an option. We're back, y'all. Uh, sorry about that. A little internet hiccup there. Might have missed one hand. Um, so we're probably going to take our sweet ace time in this spot. Although we will be going all in here for 10 blinds. Our hands just much, much too good. Uh, but we 
we're going to do a little bit of banking. Save 100 seconds for future. For sure. See, best case scenario, everyone just folds. We take it down. Although uh, we would have liked it to happen faster, no, slower. Uh, but when not everyone folds, you know what they say about suited aces 30% of the time, it works every time. So we saw this guy do someone else dirty last spot. Uh, now we're going to see if we can do him dirty in this spot. And we definitely want to use some bank here. See what's going on on the other tables. One guy tanking who is covered. So I guess he's looking to call on another guy tanking who's covered. So we potentially have two all-ins on the other table. Um, so we obviously want to let those run before us. So we may have to use our entire bank here. Um, but that's okay. That is okay. That guy's in. Nines versus fives, so. Nines are good. So if one more player is out, we're looking at a $230 pay jump. Um, and we're also, uh, we're also just looking at getting that million chip pot that I told you guys, right? Million chip pot on million dollar Sunday. It wouldn't be so much sicker if it was a suck out because we're probably behind. We probably need that 30% of the time. It works every time. But yo, 30% of the time, it works every time. Get your LFGs in the chat, y'all. I'm getting my fire shades on. This is a big one. It's a very crucial pot. And looks like no action on the other tables. Oh. Let's get stacking, y'all. Yeah. Hearts and fours and threes. Ooh, baby! That's what we talking about. 30% of the time it works every time. I told you guys. I told you guys. Fire shades. We are going to get the million chip pot. Million dollar Sunday. You just saw it. We're going to do it again. You need to call your shots, people. You need to call your future and say it. To the universe, like Negranu says, that's how he became the number one money earner. I don't care if he's number two now or number three now. Dude's a boss. And when you call it, weird stuff happens. Sometimes it just works out. So, don't be afraid to call your shot. People call you a hippie. People call you a weirdo. Call yourself a boss who is paid AF. And you know what? Let them haters hate. Let them people who don't understand say what they're going to say. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter what other people believe. In your life, in your existence, the only thing that matters is what you believe. Because you're the only one who's living your life. So you might as well live it on your terms. And um, my terms is I, I, I believe in the best. And as a result, well, you just saw it yet again. Good things happen. We are currently uh, 18th. 18th of 37, middle of the pack. My boy Assassinato right there with us. And uh, if you're looking for a pair of these, I believe they still sell them at colorglasses.com. Maybe maybe 20 bucks, maybe 15. Uh, I was going to say second best investment I made behind Shark Scope, but no. These are number one. Fire Shades, baby. Let's go. But we will call a race with the uh, pocket aces, also known as the Paninskis. Don't know why. Some people call them Paninskis. I call them the uh, Twin Peaks. Y'all remember when we got the Twin Peaks last last session? We doubled up to 150,000. This time when we get the Twin Peaks, maybe we double up to 1.5 million. Not quite a double, but you know what I mean. Oh, this is the guy, too. Cream Puff's the dude we want to play pots with. Um, don't think we're going to slow play to invite Hold the Door in. I think we're going to do... Uh, oh, well, I, I had some plans in mind, but we don't need to do them anymore. So we'll just, we'll just call. 
to give them slightly better price. It's kind of all the same, but um, Hannah Strong is aces. We don't mind Cream Puff coming in for the extra 500k if he'd call that instead of 800k. Uh, but we're certainly we're certainly calling the 666 from Pisca Poker. That's kind of what I had in mind, so that's what we get us to 1.5. And oh, look how much is in the middle, 1.589. So I guess Cream Puff's folding. I guess hold the doors folding too. And if they're not, well, cool. Side pots we can play for. All the good stuff. Let the whole world have Ace King. Wow, this spot's incredible, y'all. Three-way all in with aces. LFG's in the chat. Fire shades on. These are the kind of moments that tournament poker is all about, baby. Let's get stacking. Can the whole world have Ace King? Queen, Queen, and Ace 10. Okay. 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 Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, chat. 2.8 million. We are in seventh place. We are in seventh place with $180,000 up top. Ain't no joke. This is the real thing. This is real money, y'all. And we got ourselves a slice. Please, please, whatever you do tonight, buy yourself some fire shades. Um, I went for a raise here. If hold the door moves in, we're calling. If Bin Laden moves in, we're calling. If Ross three bets the button, we're jamming. A uh, fun player three bets the small blind. The interesting one. Okay, 742 out there. Uh, it's a 30% chip up, if no showdown. And he's going to be three bet bluffing heaps, just like we three bet bluffed the last hand. This is the spot, and our hand is too strong to throw away. So we're just going to pile drive it in. Same as Cream Puff did on us, and we get it through. And that's that's it, right? That's the game. Uh, here for the min raise, we're just going to take a flop with Ross. He's got us covered. We don't want to be inflating pots. Um, don't need a three bet bluff with this hand. It's perfectly fine hand to take a flop. On above average flops, we'll continue. On below average flops, we'll probably just get out of the way. Uh, we have a very nice stack here, fifth place, that we're happy to chill with. That's that's an above average flop for sure. Uh, not flush draw, over card. Two backdoor straight draws, one backdoor straight draw. Two. King, Jack, and Jack, eight. We'll probably go with the check call here. Um, if, we, if he happens to have like queens or something and we check raise, he can force us off the pot. We don't want that. We want to see if we make our hand. And if he's got, you know, something less than a queen or just ace high that he's c betting with, he may just go check check on the turn and um, not put any more money in the pot. Uh, now with the nuts, uh, we're going to check again. The reason being, we could consider leading, but with this particular hand in this particular spot, he may decide to put a lot of pressure on us. Remember, he has us out chipped, so he can really lay the hammer on us and think, you know, if we're check calling with a queen, maybe he can force us off it by the river. If we have a nine, he can certainly move us off it with uh, more bets. So because there are other hands we have in our range that are not the nut flush, we're going to go with the check. And on this river, do we want to go for value or do we want to go for check raise um, we're gonna go for check raise um, we miss some value from a queen yes um, but we do get like we don't miss any value from jacks or tens they aren't calling anyway a king's gonna bet king queen's definitely gonna bet Wow, King 10 check back. Oh, now I feel now I feel awful, y'all. Strong check by him. We missed out on probably about 
350, 400k. I, I, no way I expected him to check back a king in that spot. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it educational and entertaining. If you want to join Team Grips, click on that subscribe button and tap that bell to be notified every time a new video goes live. For behind the scenes updates and motivational quotes from my poker journey, follow me on Instagram. And when you're ready to take one step closer to becoming poker's next champion, click on me in three, two, one, and let's get stacking.